Good afternoon, hello, it's Friday. It's Friday today, it's Friday, happy Friday. TGI Friday, some might say. Ignore the excessive amounts of makeup on my face. Um, I am planning the makeup I wanna wear on Valentine's Day. I thought I'd go for something a little bit cliche. Also, my eyes won't stop crying, so I've just got a nice little patch where all my makeup's come off, so that's really nice. <laughs> Tim and I are going clubbing on Valentine's Day because Tim and I do Valentine's Day on the 15th of Feb because our first Valentine's Day was a disaster so we decided we would do a redo and it's just become a tradition that we do Valentine's Day on the 15th which is really <laughs> which is fun we're going clubbing on Valentine's Day and then we'll do like our romantic day the next day I think this is the makeup I might wear on Valentine's Day anyway that was a fun little tangent it is the most miserable day ever it is actually vile outside it won't stop raining. This camera is quite good at brightening things up, but honestly, yeah, it looks almost bright. Guys, it is like dark in my house. My living room, again, it's brightening up. It is dark in here. You can't tell. Anyway, this is one of the most exciting moving vlogs yet. It is the sofa vlog. Let me just sit down. Tomorrow my sofas are arriving. They have been really, really, really kindly gifted to me by Sophology. So I think this is a hashtag ad, um, but I'm not being paid. I'm just being gifted the product to tell you guys. So about six weeks ago, Tim and I went to Sophology to go and have a look at all the styles that they had. I went in there thinking I knew what I wanted. Um, obviously I had a browse online and um, I had to you know, measure up the room and make sure that everything would kind of fit. And so I had a vague idea. I thought I wanted leather because it's easy to clean. And I thought I wanted to go for like a tan. So I went in there with a style. It was, I think the Fellini style in mind. Sorry, I haven't done my lipstick yet. So I just got a foundation lip. I'm gonna insert a few clips of what went down when I went to Sophology. We've hit the mothership. So we've arrived in Sophology and I'm having a look around and I thought I had chosen the sofa that I wanted. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Just chatting away, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't want to enjoy yourself. <laughs> I thought I had chosen the one that I <laughs> literally my life. I thought I'd chosen the one that I wanted, but I walked in and I've seen about four others that I like. I just spoke to the lovely man Shakti and I'm gonna get shown around, shown some of my options. Tim is gonna help me to choose yeah, and- A lot of sofas. Yeah, lo lots of sofas. I can't wait. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Look at this sofa, you guys. Whoa, who this? <laughs> I'm gonna go for egg yolk yellow. Egg yolk yellow, yes. I do like that to be fair, it's I quite like nice. Oh, such an anticlimax. I thought you were going to fly back oh, like in Friends. Shall we? Do you like it? <laughs> we're not getting it. Come on. I want it more. I want it. No. <laughs> Come on. We've got to keep moving. Tim, we've got to keep moving. You're so annoying. Ooh, that's lovely. I just love this colour that I can't put. I mean, I yeah, could put green on green. green. Hi everyone, excuse the Christmas music playing in the background. Um, I'm sat, this is the sofa I originally thought I was gonna come in and get, but I've changed my mind. I think you'll probably guess which one I'm getting, but I'm not gonna show you until it arrives. So it will be with you very soon. And I can't wait, and it's beautiful, and I'm so excited, yay. Hey. Hi. Just get a cool oh. shot. <laughs> Tim and I have just been in Sophology for a long time and I've just chosen my sofa. I'll film it when it gets delivered, but it's very lovely and I'm so excited. It is now five weeks later and the sofa is arriving tomorrow. It's pretty obvious the one that I've gone for. I've gone for the green velvet. Um, I, I love the shape. I love the legs. I love just the style. I love the idea of the lighter shade of green and in front of the dark green on the walls. I just thought it would be such a statement 
and I'm kind of rolling with the green, so why not roll with the green some more, you know? And I like that it's a lighter colour, might brighten up the room a little bit more. So yeah, I went for the two-seater and a love seat and also a puff, a leather puff for like a footrest. Um, so they're all arriving tomorrow and I am so excited. As you can see, I've been sat on bean bags for five weeks. Having a sofa is going to change this room so much. It's gonna feel so much more full, so much more cozy. At the moment, it kind of just looks like I'm squatting in my living room. <laughs> really, 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 really happy to be working with Sophology um, on a gifting basis and um, I'm so lucky and I'm so I'm just so chuffed that they were willing to give them to me because obviously a sofa is a big purchase and um, when you first kind of buy a place, renovate a place, sofas and things are the big expenses that hit you when you first pay all that money, you know? So I'm super thrilled. Oh, oh my God. I need a new phone case. I dramatically dropped my phone down the stairs yesterday and it's still kicking, but I have scratched my camera, which is the only thing I use my phone for. So the reason I started talking about this now is because I'm gonna have to move everything about, empty the living room so that the guys tomorrow can get the um, sofas in. This is a big vlog, it's a big vlog, the sofas. <laughs> I'm gonna get on with my day a little bit and then I will move around the furniture a little bit later, but I'll make sure to film it for you guys. Um, I think they're coming between 10.45 and 2.45, I believe was the bracket given to me. I will link the sofa that I've gone for down below and I'll probably give you a little bit more like information about the sofa itself tomorrow when it actually arrives so I can like show you it and talk to you about it. But I'm so excited. Bloody thrilled. Thank you so much. I'm still not over this. <laughs> God damn. I'm most excited about having furniture so that I can host. Like, I haven't been able to really have people round. Like, my cousins came round. My grandpa's funeral was the day before yesterday. So we had family down who don't live anywhere near us at all. So we don't really get to see them that often. Um, so they swung by in the flat just to kind of come and see it. Because one of them had only seen it when it was first how I got it like no work had been done at all and then the other one hadn't seen any of it at all I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea <laughs> I took off my makeup because there was so much it's also so much later in the day and I haven't even started emptying this room just uploaded a video um I'm not sure whether it's for you my most recent video a video about my at home laser hair removal kind of journey that I'm setting up setting out set where that I'm starting setting off on wow it's empty so much room for activity here we go guys all I've got is my bean bag this is where the love seat's gonna go this is where the sofa is gonna go the bean bags can go say goodbye to all this space oh and say hello to Tim on that note I'm gonna go See you tomorrow. <laughs> morning babes. I just did my skincare, which is why I look a bit blue. It is Saturday morning. I'm just eating my breakfast and I'm sat where my love seat is gonna go. So I thought in the foreseeable future, this is the last time I'm gonna be able to sit in this very spot in my living room. So that's why I'm gonna eat my breakfast this morning. <laughs> I am so excited to have a sofa. Um, it's kind of unbelievable how excited I am. I am gonna miss all of this open space. And I always told myself that while I had all this open space, I'd do loads of uh, exercise videos and like work out. I didn't do that once. I watched a lot of Netflix on this rock, so who's the real winner? <laughs> Quite funny, because I'm sat obviously in front of this window and this is where people walk up to come to the front door. So if they walk past, they will just see me sat here literally on the floor waiting for a sofa. <laughs> I look like a dog, just like, should I just bark at them and see what they, no. Emma, no. But anyway, my skin, I was talking to my dad about this yesterday. My skin is the best it has been in a really long time. I've got a tiny breakout here, which is the first one I've had in a few months, or a couple months. I know I literally just uploaded a video where I showed loads of skincare. Um, and I still use a couple of those things. I filmed that video two weeks ago. Since filming that video, I've tried a new skincare routine, which I've been using morning and night. 
and my skin looks amazing oh here we go you might be able to see i don't know if you can see but it is so glowy my skin is dewy products i've wanted to try for a really really long time i'm kind of obsessed with it i might do a full-on like morning and evening skincare routine or would you like to see it in like a morning routine video and an evening routine or do you want to see the skincare or do you want to see like how i live my life because to be honest you see my morning routine i'm sat on the floor with peaches nut and and it's a peaches and ice cream ice cream for breakfast anyway i'm gonna go and wait for these nice men to come Hello. 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 Going through it, goes straight into the living room. Super easy, yeah. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Start small. <laughs> right, yeah. So, um, where do you want the, the big one, the long one? Big one there. And the smaller one? Little one there. Okay. Alright? Right. Goodbye, empty space. are not gonna believe this they're here let me just arrange them a little bit and then i'll show you guys they're gorgeous <laughs> so so beautiful oh my god the delivery guys were the nicest men they were so friendly and smiley and they've taken everything with them there is no mess they assembled it all for me and then they took all the packaging away it literally it's done it's done they're ready they're here they're I have I have furniture finally. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> okay guys. They're here. Here's the sofa. It is, as you can see, a gorgeous green velvet. It comes with the cushions and it has these gorgeous little tapered legs. This is the cricket style. And I also got the matching love seat. Um, you guys these are the most beautiful things i've ever seen and i also got this puff in whiskey the whiskey color i will link everything down below it's got the matching legs but it is from a different like family of sofas this is the first time of me sitting on it guys guys i have a sofa <laughs> i'm so happy i'm so happy good morning guys it's Sunday now um it's the next day you died on me my camera died last night was my first night with my furniture first night with my sofas and it, it was just so nice to sit somewhere and work on my laptop and just be comfy and not have a sore back by the end of the night by sitting on the crappy bean bag it was a good time it's quite dark sorry it's such a gloomy day um but obviously the love seat is there i actually moved the big lamp there to be over the love seat and then i put my monstera into that pot and put it on top of that just to raise it a little bit because it was um it was a bit too low next to the sofa but i think now it's quite a nice height put the puff there lighting is something that's very very important to me um i really like to have a nicely lit home it doesn't have to be bright in the daytime i like it to be bright at night time i like it to be cozy but also you know like pretty well lit i want to have a lot of like freestanding kind of light sources around the room so that we can like tailor the light to how much light we want so i got that big curved lamp obviously and then just little lights on the fireplace all the candles and that's it at the minute but i ordered a lamp oh my goodness hopefully it's as amazing as i'm picturing it's like a gorgeous kind of orange ceramic curved base and it's just the base of the lamp and then i've got this like leaf print um shade that i'm gonna put on top of it so hopefully that looks as cool as it does in my brain we'll see we'll wait we'll have to see when it shows up it'll be here in the next couple of days and i've also picked out a little side table which is like a wooden kind of carved round side table which looks gorgeous online we'll go in that space there and then the lamp will come up here but then that makes me think that the light from this and the light from that are both going to be here so maybe I should put the curved lamp back over this, but then I wanna have this as a gallery wall and I don't want that to be cutting into the 
prints. Do you see my dilemma? I could always put the lamp here, but I kind of want to have some sort of a unit here or maybe a bar car or something. Um, so yeah, we'll just figure it out. I mean, there's no rush. At the moment, we've got everything we need bar a coffee table, which I'm on the hunt for because I want a coffee table, preferably that has two layers. I'm thinking maybe a bit of glass because there's no glass in this room um it's a lot of wood and a lot of fabric thinking maybe a glass top with a wooden base but i just want something that's got the two levels to it so i could put things underneath that so when you look down on it you can see it but you can still use it as a functioning surface and i also want it to have some storage in it i want to be able to amplify the amount of storage i can get at the moment my living room is pretty clear like there's not a lot of stuff in my living room but there's a lot of stuff in other parts of the house that I feel like could live in the living room. But at the moment, I've just wanted to keep the living room like really empty. But I feel like, you know, I need to reassign places for things because otherwise other parts of the house are going to get cluttered, you know? I also need to pick out a new TV unit. I think I've chosen one. It's a little bit pricey. All of the nice ones are really expensive. And I understand that furniture is expensive. But I don't know. It's like really expensive. And then I'm like, do I want to invest in it? I mean, I do want to invest in it, but it's only got probably like five inches on each side longer than the TV. So if I ever wanted to upgrade my TV, which I think I probably will in the next couple of years, it would be too small for the TV. And then I'd have to start again because I never want my TV to be bigger than the stand it's standing on. I think that looks really weird. Like that looks stupid to me. I mean, obviously that looks stupid. That's like significantly too small, but I always think there needs to be a good amount of space either side of the TV. Um, so I'm like, do I invest in it and then maybe make it too small in the future? Or do I find something bigger, but then won't that be even more expensive, you know? It's a dilemma, man. It's a dilemma. I love it. It still smells like a shop. I can't wait for it to start smelling like my house and like baked goods because at the moment it just smells like cleaning products. It will soon become part of the family. Also, I just feel like I should know there was a little bit of damage to one of the seat cushions. Just here, there's like press marks where it's probably been leaned up against something in the um, warehouse. The delivery guys literally pointed it out to me. I would not have noticed it. Um, so the delivery guys were like, just want to let you know, this is like this. Um, I'm going to call the customer service team now. Just take a photo. Um, and by the time we leave, they will have sent you an email. Just send them a picture and they'll send you a replacement. It was so efficient. Literally, the guy was like, just take a picture of that. And then I looked, turned around and he was on the phone. And he was talking to a very friendly lady. And she was like, he did it all for me. I didn't do anything. He was literally like, I'll just call them for you. I was like, all right, okay, great. I sent over the picture and then I got an email saying, we're sending you a replacement cover. Such good service, honestly. They were really, really quick and really, really good about it. Yeah, no, I was really, really, really impressed with the service. All good things to say, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here. So the next vlog, all of the furniture that I've ordered recently will be arriving. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my beautiful new sofas. I'm so in love with them i could not be happier with them honestly i think they're absolutely gorgeous so uh let me know what you think uh leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you're new here hello i'm emma it's lovely to meet you please subscribe um and if this is the first video of mine that you've seen babes you have got so many to catch up on this moving vlog has been a year-long series um because i've renovated this house so if you want to see the full process then check out my renovations vlog playlist and you can watch it from the very beginning i wouldn't want you to skip to the decorating when you didn't see how it looked before because i think that is the real like it's the contrast that makes this so so exciting make sure you check that out if you're interested in buying some merch i have a range of mugs then um, they are linked down below if you'd like to check them out. And I think that's everything. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.